Mr. Mid's video. Today, I'd like to talk to you about our MDM manual enrollment profiles. Why? What's the point of these? What's the purpose? The purpose is to enroll devices like macOS computers, iPhones, iPads, Apple TVs, get them into your bacon environment without having to put them through the Apple Business Manager um, onboarding process in order to have them be managed here in Bacon. So to start this out, from the overview page, we'll jump down to administration and then to MDM. In MDM, you'll see a number of tabs. The one we'll be dealing with right now is enrollment profile. You'll see we have three different enrollment profiles. Standard, BYOD, or bring your own device, and ABM, or Apple Business Manager. Standard and BYOD are very similar in that <clears throat> these allow you some opportunity to set the style of permissions that you want the, um, the, your bacon installation to have control. What level of control do you want them to have over different devices? For situations where there's a bring your own device, this is what we generally consider to be an employee owned device that must still access uh, work, property work, IT work servers. In this case, Bacon would still need, notice how we have certain locked permissions. Bacon would still need uh, to be able to allow and uh, remove certain configuration profiles and then allow inspection of different things, allow query of device information, network information, inspection of installed provisioning profiles. But uh, aside from the installation removal of configuration profiles, everything else that is, you know, by default and, um, you know, forced on with these gray locks is the allow inspection or query of that still leaves you with a lot of permissions being able to turn on or off. For instance, if these are employee-owned devices, you might choose to turn off all of these optional toggles. For instance, you might turn off allowing app management, uh, allowing manipulation of settings. You might turn off allow installation and removal of provisioning profiles, allow erasing the device that would be a huge uh, I'd say problem uh, if this truly is an employee owned device if this is if the um, if the company the IT management is allowed to erase an employee's device uh, or to lock the device and uh, remove a passcode so often you might set these types of permissions for a bring your own device type of manual enrollment uh, down here you'll see the URL where manual enrollment happens and you can set your own pin down here you can have it be you know long or a much simpler one and then you would just hit save and when I'll show you the follow video but you visit this URL put this pin in and you would have the bring your own device profile Standard is very similar in what it allows you to turn on or off, but you might find a standard profile. This might be the case where it is a company owned device, but it's being used by employees for a mix of company and personal reasons. Uh, this is all up to the policy of the company and of the management team, but that's another scenario where it's uh, again, uh, employee use for or private, but it's still company owned. And in that sense, you might have uh, more control over it. Again, the same paradigm here. Go to a URL and input this time. This is a separate enrollment pin for the standard. Uh, lastly, this is our once the most control. All permissions, all management permissions are turned on. 
and this is what we call the ABM profile. This is not, please know, an actual Apple Business Manager enrollment process. The reason that we call it ABM is two things. One, this is the profile that you would want to use for a company-owned device to use solely for company purposes. This might be for, let's say, certain kiosks or devices that never go home with employees. Uh, this is also the same um, permissions profile that gets used by Bacon for all devices, Mac OS, again, iPhone, Apple, um, uh, iPad, and the uh, Apple TV. Uh, this is the uh, set of permissions that we use for all devices that are enrolled through the Apple Business Manager process. But like the other two, you'll see in a manual enrollment URL and a unique pin like all the other ones you can change your pin and we do recommend that you do change these pins uh, so that uh, you don't get um, non-employee actors attempting um, to have their devices managed and sneaking on your networks that way okay <clears throat> so this is part one of manual enrollment profiles I want to thank you so much for watching this and part two, the follow-up, is we'll show what this looks like on iPhones and iPads. Stay salty, stay crispy, go bacon.